What's going on guys, Tyler here and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, however, we are starting a 13 part video series of how to build a website from the ground up. Now, if you're brand new to websites, you've never designed your website at all or don't even know where to begin, this tutorial will be perfect for you. Or maybe you've already got your domain name and hosting and you can skip ahead a few videos into this series and get going on how to work with WordPress and how to actually develop and design a website using Elementor. No matter where you are in this process, this video series should help you continue developing your website all the way up until you have a fully functioning website. Now, to follow along on this video series, I will have a playlist link right down below. It will be the first link in the description and you can click on that playlist and get started following these video series videos in order. So in this video series, we'll be covering topics such as how a website works how to purchase a domain name and hosting and get them set up, also the propagation process that happens, SSL certificates, setting up your email, installing WordPress, and how WordPress actually functions, the basics of using Elementor drag and drop page builder, using the Elementor theme builder, as well as some advanced Elementor design. And lastly, and most importantly, we'll close out the video series with driving traffic to your website. Now with this video series coming out, I am super excited to announce also that I will be uploading twice a week now. So I will be uploading on Mondays as well as Thursdays. I'm very excited about this and this is gonna give me an opportunity to put out more content for you guys. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to SiteGround Web Hosting. I was reached out to by them and they're actually going to provide free web hosting for the entire duration of this video series so you guys can actually follow along with me and see just exactly how SiteGround hosting works and in my videos I'll talk a little bit more about them but they are by far the fastest and most reliable host I have ever used for web hosting. So this video is not sponsored by SiteGround but I do just want to say thank you for providing hosting for this video series. And if you guys are interested in any of the other products that I mention in this video series, such as Elementor Pro or SiteGround Web Hosting, you can definitely check out the links. I have them down below in the description. They'll be in the description of this video as well as all of the other videos in this video series. All right, guys, the time has come. Let's go ahead and jump into this video series and talk about the basics of how a website works. Now, in the next video, we're gonna be talking about purchasing a domain name and purchasing host but in this video, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the different parts that you're going to need to build out for your website. And specifically today, we're talking about three different parts. Now let's go ahead and jump over to my computer here. And I have a little graphic here that I've created of how an, a website actually functions. Now what happens over here is you have a client, a visitor that wants to come to your website and they go ahead and they open their internet browser and they put in a URL. This URL is called a domain name. Now this brings us to our first requirement of what you'll need to purchase for your website. And this is a domain name. And domain names can be purchased from a variety of different domain name providers. And they're typically around $20. Some of the domain name providers are companies such as SiteGround, GoDaddy, Google Domains, Namecheap, Ionos, and many others. There are other domain names that don't end in a .com extension. If you guys would like to look at those, you can definitely look at those. However, .com is by far the most widely used. Now, the actual process of what happens here is your visitor will go ahead and put in the URL into their internet browser and it will redirect them over to your host. Now, that redirection is actually going to be a connection made with a security layer called an SSL certificate. By default, your website will not come with an SSL certificate set up so you're definitely going to want to set one up this not only creates great trust for visitors coming to your website but it is also very crucial you have to have it when you're collecting any kind of payment on your website so in this video series we'll talk a little bit more about that but these are three parts that you're definitely going to need your URL or your domain name your SSL certificate and let's talk about your hosting. Now hosting is actually where the files of your website live. Whenever you design a website or design a web page, all of those files are stored on your host. And basically a visitor click, 
they type in your URL here in their internet browser, they're redirected through a secure connection over to the host, and then they are presented with the file that came from your host back on their screen. Now for very simple terms, hosting is similar to how your computer works at home. If you have a fast computer, you're able to access things and access files a lot faster. If you have a slow computer, a bogged down computer, then it's going to take time and be a little bit slower. That's why it's important to look for the very fastest host because you want them to be able to host your files back to your visitor as fast as possible. Now in the next video, we're going to be talking about how to purchase this domain name and how to purchase this hosting and why this SSL certificate comes with the host that I choose. And again, I'm not gonna go too much into detail on that, but that's basically how a website works. When a visitor visits your website, Site, they are redirected from the domain name over to the host and the host provides with the files that make up your website. All right, guys, now that you know the basics of how a website works, let's go ahead and jump into the rest of this video series and get into building out your website. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, join the family and be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. Also, if you like today's video and like these other videos in this video series, please consider dropping a like on the videos. It really helps me and helps th these videos get boosted in the YouTube algorithm. Now, now guys, like I said, to continue on in this video series, click on that playlist link down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video.